that you drive around and what's this? It's my car. That's your car? When you're in Winwood, this is how you have to ride. Wow. Get in! <laughs> Episode of Fleet Friday. I'm here with Sir. Introduce yourself. Commander Curb, commander of the Winwood Net. So Winwood, that kind of explains my car. Your car, sir. You're rolling in style. I love it. Not your typical police car, huh? It doesn't look like it, but actually it is. This was a 2009 Ford Crown Victoria that was actually in our decoy car program. It had been decommissioned. Nobody was driving anymore, and they would park it around neighborhoods. I was issued the car, it's assigned to me, and we gave it the best paint job in the fleet. So, let's have a look. All its lights. All its sirens. All the equipment of a police car. All the equipment of a police car. Just a unique paint job. A unique paint job and some pretty nice wheels. Are those 10s? 18s. Those are 18s? Yeah, those are 18s. Are you sure? Definitely. <laughs> I bought them. So tell me how this car came to be. Well, about a month ago, the chief asked us to do something unique for National Night Out. And he wanted to represent the areas that we work. I work Wynwood. What defines Wynwood is street art and graffiti. So I wanted a legitimate graffiti police car made by a legitimate Wynwood artist from the neighborhood. Who's the artist? The artist is abstract. Right. You can see him at... So, you just mentioned that you purchased the wheels. Yes. You did everything to the car? No. This car was completely donated by the Wynwood area. So the Wynwood Business Improvement District working with Glo Golden and Global Arts, better known as Winwood Walls, got together to primarily fund the project. They curated the artist abstract. Then we reached out to neighborhood businesses that put in a sound system, gave us some sweet rims, and put the nice clear coat over the art to protect the artwork. All those businesses within Winwood contributed to our car. So the inside is decked out too? Not yet. Almost. But I will appeal to your listeners and your subscribers. Does anybody want to uh, pimp out my inside? Guys, uh, if you are an interior designer of vehicles, I don't know if that's what they're called. I want it even beyond that. I want it to be an artist. So okay. I want it to be an art piece on the inside as well as the outside. So, so this, is, this is, is more than a car. It is more than a car. It's an outreach piece to help the officers engage with the artists that have been here as long as we have. We just usually are in adversarial roles. So my goal with this was to reach that hand across to them and they reached out to us and working together I think I can break down some of those barriers between the cops and the street artists. AKA it's icebreaker. Exactly. Boom, summed it up. So I saw the outside. Yes. So we saw the outside. Right. Can we see the inside? Let's go. Let's go. So, standard vehicle on the inside, fuzzy dice. Fuzzy dice extra. Aftermarket Bluetooth enabled DVD player. DVD player that was put in by Creative Customs and Flagami. They really helped out. Awesome. What's your vision? Because I know I know you got tricks up your sleeve. I know you got some tricks up your sleeve. I think the next step of this car is I want to make the interior interactive. So what I would like to make it a, a photo booth, carpool karaoke kind of vehicle where I can park it out here on 2nd Avenue in Wynwood, open the doors and let kids get in, 
talk to the cop that's driving it, interact with the car, take photos in here, and then be able to send those photos back to the department so we can see how people can interact with the cop that's sitting here and with the car itself. Uh, is there, I see no cage. Right, this was a sergeant's car actually. That's one of the reasons that we liked it, is that it only had 70,000 miles and no cage, which right. makes it easier for us to put kids in the back seat and talk to us and interact. So, let, let me say, because we have viewers that are from all over the world and might not know about Wynwood. So that's something typical of Wynwood. Why don't you like describe a night and how why this car is so special and it fits in like perfect. Wynwood is, is an old neighborhood in Miami that's seen this revitalization. The revitalization was built on street art, street murals, graffiti art, uh, and, and it really, the artists were here before the businesses came, before the restaurants came. Now, on a Friday and Saturday night, it's 50,000 people on the streets walking up and down, going to the clubs, going to the bars, viewing the artwork. This car has now become a piece of that artwork. So in an effort to interact with all those tourists and the locals and the, and the artists that are out here, we park this car in the street and I assign it to the beat officer that works in this area. It is their real patrol car that they drive to work and park on the corner. So they take traffic stops? They could take a traffic stop. I would rather them sit on the corner and interact with the public, but technically it is still a police car. Right. It's still got blue lights and, and, and it could pull you over. I would just rather it be an outreach piece right. more than a uh, traffic enforcement piece. Kind of like those dare cars. Exactly, the old dare cars, uh, uh, the breast cancer cars, right. things like that. I just think this one is the most unique in the nation. Well, given uh, what you just said about the statistics of Wynwood and how it's so packed, I know you're a busy man, and I appreciate the time. No problem. Joining us here on Fleet Friday. We're back, Fleet Friday. Fleet Friday. That's right, second one. Anything else you want to tell them? Do you think this is the best car in the fleet? It's got to be. Has to be. It's got to be. There's no car better. So when you're ready to retire and nope. move on. Nope. It's mine. Maybe we can borrow nope. it. Nope. It's going home with me. Sorry. All right. Nobody wants a 2009. <laughs> I'll take a 2000. I'll take this one. All right, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate Thank your you. time. Thank you so much. And you be safe. Thank you. All right. <laughs>